In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual device in SmartThings and how it can be useful in your smart home. Coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to get our smart things set up with a virtual device and show you how that can be used to help automate your smart home. So the first thing you want to do is obviously open up the app. And I am still on the classic app because the new app is not quite ready for use, although it is getting better. So there is hope on that new app actually being useful one day. The first thing you want to do is go over to automation tab at the bottom and go to your smart apps tab at the top. Now you can see that I already have the virtual device creator um, under this section. Although if you do not have it here, it's because you've never used it and you'll need to add it. So if you don't have it there, just click on add a smart app at the bottom. And what you want to do is go all the way to the bottom again and click on more. Once on the more, go all the way to the bottom and click on virtual device creator. And then basically what it's going to do is going to have you create your first virtual device. So let's go ahead and choose a type. So we have um, a virtual switch or a dimmer switch. If the device is basically an on and off thing, you want to use the switch. If it's something that can be dimmed, then you can use the dimmer switch. So we're going to click on done there. You'd want to choose your hub and that's going to be required for local execution. So definitely choose your hub and then you would choose in a name. I'm just going to put all right, and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then what that's going to do is create this new virtual switch that we just um, set up here. I'm going to click save. And now your virtual device creator should be out on your smart apps section under your automation tab. Um, now, if we go over to the my home section, you can see that we have the new virtual sw switch here and I can tap it on and off, but it's a virtual switch. So it doesn't actually do anything unless you connect it to something. So what you could do is you could, um, you know, set up, you know, three different lights to turn on and off with this one switch. Um, you can also use the switch to, um, you know, allow you to control your smart home monitoring um, through smart things because um, there's no way to do that using Alexa without um, a switch in smart things that Alexa can control. So, um, you can set that up. Another useful thing for a virtual switch is that um, you can create a virtual switch in SmartThings or say your door locks and um, your garage door because Alexa will not control locking devices with your voice for security reasons. And that is a way around that. Um, but there's so many other uses for that I just wanted to be sure that everyone knew how to create a virtual switch because um, that can help you solve a lot of problems in your smart home 100% free. You don't have to buy anything. It's just a way to add a switch and then add automation to that switch to have it do whatever you want it to do. So that is basically all you do. And if you can, you can actually go into the switch um, you can go to the settings and you can change the icon um, to whatever you want it to be. Um, so you can make it whatever you want and you can also change the name to whatever you want. Um, so it's completely customizable. Another thing I use it for is to run sharp tools rules. So this actual, um, this is a virtual switch up here as well. 
um, and I use that to test my rules. So I can just um, put this as a trigger on a rule, and if it turns on, then it will run that rule, and I can see if everything after that actually works, um, rather than actually you know acting out the actual trigger of the rule. I can actually show you that real quick. So if I go over to my sharp tools, go over to my rules engine, and under my test stuff here, at the top you can see that my event trigger is my sharp tools run, which is my virtual switch in my smart things. Um, changes to off, um, then it will run the rest of this stuff down here. Um, so that is how another way you can use a virtual switch. Um, but pretty much the um, virtual switch can be used for anything that you want. Um, the only limit is your imagination, but you definitely need to know that number one, it exists, and number two, how to add it to your smart things. So I hope that um, video helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section, and I will see you in the next video.